In a world where outlets like Kotaku and Jezebel and Vice Media and so on and so on are all on their way out the door because people (laughs) just don't, regular people just don't read these articles. It's a very small group of people. A lot of them are, are on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it now, where they're very loud uh, for some reason. And many outlets thought that that kind of business could be very fruitful, bringing a lot of money, and they were wrong. Uh, Jezebel just went out of business. Well, I, it's the site's still there, but I don't think they're going to do anything new on it. Uh, Kotaku is laying off tons of people. So Telegraph decided it's probably in their best interest to put out this article, why we're still in love with the idea that great men shape history. The theory that history is defined by alpha males feels unfashionable and offensive, but Ridley Scott's Napoleon proves we can't let it go. As you, This is from The Telegraph. Whole article about how uh, history is shaped by great men, basically. Uh, did they have their problems? Sure. Napoleon, not the, not the cleanest guy, right? But he still commands a large chunk of history books, uh, which is, I mean, is what it is. The problem here is that it, it blocks the conversation we could be having about great women. I never heard of Alexandria the Great. It was Alexander the Great. They did name a city after him, but uh, you, you can't call him Alexandria. His name is Alexander. You know, they have, like, a bunch of names here. Genghis Khan. I mean, does it, like, is the conversation around whether they're good people, bad people, or that they actually, you know, conquered some shit? It is what it is, but I don't need to learn about someone that was obscure versus Napoleon. I mean, you would learn about the, if you were majoring in history, if that was what you decided you wanted to get educated on, you would learn about those more obscure people, especially when you focus into an area of history that you would be interested in. This is how things, things like this work. Uh, if you pursue education, if you decide you just want to study history for fun, you would probably find those people anyway. But it's funny to me that Napoleon's coming out, but so we have to write a whole article about why men are shit. And they're getting roasted for it very hard. Here's the Telegraph's Twitter account, and they get, they're getting eaten up and ratioed pretty hard because they're mad about... Napoleon getting a movie and it probably won't even be (laughs) historically accurate either. I want to point out Uh, these are the kind of Ridley Scott movies. I like actually a little sidebar. Uh, Ridley Scott of course has his awful alien spinoffs like Prometheus and whatever that other one that came out. That one was dog shit as well. But he also has a genre that I think he's very good in, and that's kind of like period movies somewhat based on reality. Gladiator, great example. Uh, Commodus in that movie is nothing like his actual counterpart in history. Uh, He's basically a fake version of Commodus, but it works for the movie. Kingdom of Heaven, another one he did. The director's cut, great movie. Uh, That is the same way. Uh, Given his track record, I'm going to guess that Napoleon is also exaggerated, which is fine. You shouldn't go into a movie expecting uh, true historical stuff. They have to make some stuff a little bit more drama-friendly to entertain you. Uh, But I always think it's good if you liked it to go brush up and learn about the actual stories. But either way, uh, they're getting ratioed into the ground because, well, this is a stupid-ass take. I wonder if stuff like this comes out sometimes. Like, it's convenient this is coming out right now when they're predicting bad box offices for 
not just the Marvels, but that Rachel, Rachel Ziegler movie coming out, the Hunger Games. This movie's not even projected to bring in a lot of money. Are they making articles like this because this could pull money from those two movies? You never know. I mean, that's just, I'm just kind of kicking stuff around here, but it's a Gundam comes in, says someone had their soy latte this morning. Adrian Curry says, are you effing serious? Yes, Alpha Mel's carved out his human history. What damn planet do you drugged out Marxists live on? The one with fake history. Uh, the red-headed libertarian says, I'm just here to add to the ratio. Uh, J.A. Douglas says, great men change history. Get bent. Uh, <laughs> Oren McIntyre says, we get it. You got shoved into a locker. Uh, P.K. Slippy A.E. says, because they literally do, history essentially revolves on powerful men, good or bad, doing impactful things, good or bad. Uh, that's actually a great point. It kind of does. Men and their armies literally shaped history. They did. Whether you like that or not, that is the truth. Uh, Napoleon Appreciator says, we need to quit letting weak, insufferable, insecure men try to define what real history is. The great man theory holds the hearts of so many because life isn't a cape shit movie where anyone can be a superhero. Uh, Napoleon was one of the few men who actually lived up to the idea that one man can alter the course of history. Alpha males becoming leaders of their countries and winning multiple wars obviously don't have an impact in history, XD, and so on and so on. Uh, truth is often unfashionable and offensive. That's a damn good point. Got to give that to her. Uh, damn good point. When people who make the biggest historic decisions have the biggest impact on history. Crazy ideas. Maybe we can't let it go because it's truth. So you think Napoleon didn't shape history after all because he was a man? You're right, Telegraph. Napoleon wasn't the one who changed the course of history. It was BIPOC women. <laughs> They're just getting ripped to shreds. And they deserve it because this is stupid. Stupid take. Uh, history is what it is. It'll be it'll be shaped by those who define it. And, I mean, are there, are there great women in history? Sure, but uh, the biggest figures, the ones that have shaped the civilization of mankind, have mostly been men. Sorry that you think that that's sexist, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.